Hey, what's up guys? I am Joe from Workbench and this week we're going to go over a quick tutorial on how to fill up a shape or whatever with a liquid. And it looks a little bit like that. So let's get to it. We're going to double click to make a little square. We're just going to do a cube and we are going to open up our rectangle, open up our path, hold shift, drag that down all the way to zero, drag it back up as a square, a little tip from the last time. And we're going to click on this little rectangle path right here, convert to Bezier path or Bezier if you want to be that guy. And then you'll end up with the path right here. All right, we're not going to keyframe this just yet because you actually have to set the first vertex. Otherwise, you get some weird stuff with your animation. So we're just going to select this like that. Go up to Layer, Mask and Shape Path, Set First Vertex. All right, so then we're going to keyframe path. We're going to move that down a little bit. And then we're going to take this down to nothing or as close as possible. All right, here's the first trick. If you want this thing to ease, you need to set your easing now. Because otherwise, once you start putting points in the middle here, you're never going to get it to flow correctly. So I'm going to use this. And speaking of flow, I'm actually going to well, we'll take that one right there, actually. So I'm going to apply that. I'm going to stretch this out just a little bit, say 18 frames. So you can see it's going to do that. Preview this right here because you're going to kind of want this to be set because otherwise it's not going to be easy to change later on. All right, so I like that motion. What I'm going to do here, and actually it might be easy in this case since I don't have a reference shape. Let's open up my rulers. I'm going to bring down about here, about a third up and two thirds up on the shape. And I'm going to go to the point where the box is about there. I'm going to delete this because I don't want it hanging on anything when I move these points out. I'm going to hit my uh, Gen tool. That's G for Gen. I'm going to select this one. I'm going to hold Option and drag around that. So then drag this out, drag that back, hold Shift because I want to maintain the edge of this square. You can actually also use this as a track mat, which is how the uh, logo was done. All right, and so this one, going to do the same thing, but we're going to go the opposite direction. So you see it's going to be kind of like filling up like this. And then all we're going to do is move down further, about to there, maybe one frame back. That's pretty good. And then I'm just going to drag this down and drag that one up. And then the top, it'll fill itself back in. So then you play that, and it looks like that. If you think it's going too quick or whatever, you can go back, drag this out, holding Option, then you just drag the last keyframe out, and you can play it again. Now, if you want to change the motion on these, you can kind of move these a little bit once you've got them in between keys. It's okay. It's not going to change it too much. So maybe I don't want it to be as violent. So I can go and do this. And maybe it gets more violent as it goes this way. So you can see it'll bounce up like that. Or maybe I want to smooth it out again. So it looks like it fills up just a little bit. It's got a little bit of bounce. And that's it. Same thing can happen with other shapes. This is basically filled up with the same shape as you can see here. And this one I didn't care what the edges look like. So it goes like this. Turn that back off. Play it. And it fills up to reveal the logo. So that's it for this one, guys. I stuck to my mission of making tutorials quick and to the point. All right, so if you guys have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below. And make sure you follow us on workbench.tv for more great tutorials. I'll see you guys next week, as long as the hurricane doesn't take my house. Bye.